Hi there. So I came out this morning and noticed my front right tire here in the Prius is, was a little bit low. So I figured I'd put together a quick little video. I'm going to show you how to check your tire pressure, how to inflate to the proper pressure, how to check for small leaks, how to change a tire, because I promised my wife I would make a video about how to change a tire. And as this car is a little bit overdue for rotating the tires, I'll show you how to do that as well. So first off, the tire looks low. We need to check the pressure. What should the pressure be? Well, there's a couple sources for that information. Let's look here on the side of the tire. And you can't read it, but it says max pressure, 300 kilopascals, and in parentheses, 44 PSI. So um, that's what the tire says. Let's see what the car says the pressure should be. And if I look here in the index, it'll have under tires, it'll have an inflation pressure on page 291. And on page 291, it doesn't actually give me a tire inflation pressure, but it tells me where to look. And that's right over here on the driver's side door. And right here, this beat up label, what it says, it recommends is the front be 35 PSI and the rear be 33. And then also the little spare donut tire should be 60. Well, so what do we do? We've got a front tire that says on the tire it should be 44 and a recommended tire inflation pressure from the car of 35. Well, let's talk for just a second about where those two numbers come from. So if you remember on the tire it said max pressure 44. And the car um, reading recommended a pressure of 35 but that's a cold inflation pressure so the first reason for those two differences is uh, the Gay-Lussac law I think that I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but it's one of the sort of three classic um, physical laws for ideal gases there's you know Charles law Boyle's law and then this other one that I don't really know how to pronounce the name but the Lissac law says that uh, the pressure is uh, directly related uh, to the temperature. So as the temperature goes up, the pressure inside the tire will build. So here it is. It's kind of a warm day here in California, um, but it's not as hot as it's going to get. It's, you know, it gets well in the hundreds here in the summer, and we're still in winter. So, I could inflate this all the way up to 44 PSI. That would be its max pressure, but I'd have to sure, make sure that uh, when summer started rolling around, I let some of the air out if I don't have a slow leak in this tire already. So, I'm going to need to put the camera down for this next little step here. Okay. So... Most of you know how to do this. You've got your little pressure gauge. You unscrew the cap. Make sure you've got it sort of lined up. Go ahead and push it tight. And that's reading about 12 PSI, which is completely unacceptable. Here, I'm just going to double check it. My hooked up to my compressor is a inflation gauge and it's not reading any higher than that so this tire is definitely low so let's start by pumping it up and I'm going to pump it because it is uh, likely to warm up a bit I'm not going to go all the way to that 44 but it's also um, a nice pretty warm day here so I'm not going to go all the way down to that 35 the higher you get your pressure in your tires the better your gas mileage too high is dangerous because your tires can blow out. Also, if they're inflated too high, the tread won't wear evenly. So I'm going to pick right about 40. And for 
for some reason the PSI scale is never the one pointing at me on this. So that's right about 40 there, and we'll just double check it as long as I've got both meters here, and they agree. So we'll check the pressure in the other tires as well, and then go about showing you how to change a tire and how to rotate a tire. Okay, so just in case any of you were wondering how the valve in your tire actually worked. Uh, this one actually came out of a bicycle tire, but it's the same principle. It's called a Schrader valve. And basically it's an open cylinder with a cap on this end and a little rubber gasket. It's got a valve stem out here. And just because you can't see it when I've got my big hands in the way, when you depress this valve cap, it pushes out on the cap at the other end and that cylinder is just wide open and air flows through there. So when you go to check your pressure with your tire gauge, it's got a pin in the middle of it. It depresses that cap and the pressure in your tire pushes out this peg that's calibrated to read PSI or whatever you're measuring your tire pressure is. I thought I'd also show you this. Most tire gauges have a little knob on the back. That's in case your tire's overinflated. You can just stick that little valve, that little knob down in the valve stem, depress that, and let some air out of your tires. That's how a tire valve works. All right. So we got all the tires filled up to their proper inflated pressure. Now the question is, why was this tire so low? I'm going to look for a leak. I'm going to look for a leak with a little bubble mixture, just half soap and half water. Typical places for leaks are a bad seal, right at the rim here. I'm going to look for any signs of any bubble in here. And I happen to be using a, just an old cheap foam paintbrush. You can use just about anything for this. And I'm not seeing any bubbles there. I'm going to go ahead and just paint the top, because if I ran over a nail or something, that's going to have a slow leak to it, and I'll see some bubbles coming out there. So I don't see anything, and obviously um, you could just fill it up and wait and see if it actually goes down again in any sort of rapid fashion. Um, but that tire is pretty low. I did want to make sure that uh, there wasn't any obvious leak to it. If it deflates it again, if it deflates again, I will um, kind of repeat this process and look a little more thoroughly. Because if, if it deflates again quickly, then it probably does have a leak. And maybe I can show you how to patch a, a small hole in a tire. So let's get busy uh, on how to change a tire. 